So what's going on gas gang? Today we're back with a good old drag race between two historic Japanese rivals. It's an all-wheel drive four-cylinder turbo takeover. Today Mitsubishi's last offering of the Lancer Evolution takes on Subaru's modern day WRX STI and it's going to be sick. So stay tuned and let's get it. Welcome to Officially Gap. For the best in universal premium ester containing engine oils and fuel additives for both petrol and diesel engines, check the links in the description. So welcome back once again to the OG battles here at the Manol Battlegrounds where we step up and let our cars do the talking. But today it goes deeper than that with two long-term rally derived all-wheel drive Japanese weapons. Historically both extremely successful in the world of rally igniting a generational rivalry between the two brands on and off the track. And we're here to keep that rivalry fresh. <laughs> today the Mitsubishi Evo 10 faces off against the Subaru WRX STI and it's going to be sick. And in partnership with Race Logic, we're going to be carrying out two sets of races. First up today, it's a quarter mile roll race. Next up, it's a drag race to the quarter mile. All races are best of three and the V-Box Performance Box Touch will be recording data such as 0 to 60s, quarter mile times and more to give you guys the stats on how this savage trio perform. Let's get over and meet the builds and their owners. So first up today, representing for the Evo lovers, it's Johnny in his 2012 inline four cylinder, turbo powered, 402 brake horsepower, 640 newton meter Mitsubishi Evo 10 FQ360 mapped by Simon Norris at Norris Designs. Modifications only consist of an ETS V3 extreme exhaust system and DCAT downpipe, an ETS induction kit and a free port boost solenoid. The Evo's running on Michelin PS5 street tyres and weighs in at around 1560 kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of 257 brake horsepower per tonne. The Evo drives all four of its wheels via its manual six speed transmission. And he's going to be stepping up against Elon, flying the flag for the Subaru enthusiasts. In his 2015 497 brake horsepower, 650 newton meter, flat four cylinder turbo powered Subaru WRX STI built by Andy Williams at Williams Racing LTD and mapped by Duncan Graham at Race Dynamics. Modifications consist of a fully forged closed deck EJ257 engine, ID 1050cc injectors, a fastline GTX 3071R turbo, GSC titanium valve springs and retainers, ported engine heads, a K&N Typhoon intake and an AWE track exhaust and Miltec Sports Cat downpipe. The Scooby's running on Eagle F1 Supersport street tyres and weighs in at around 1500 kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of 331 brake horsepower per tonne. Alon's also got switchable maps, 400 brake horsepower on low boost and 450 on medium boost setting. And we're going to try and make him use them too. <laughs> this STI also drives its four wheels via its six speed manual transmission. Right guys, so we have the contenders here uh, by my side. Welcome to the channel. Uh, it's that infamous, you know, Evo versus Scooby kind of race. Did I look at the right person saying that? Yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah Evo, yeah, yeah. Scooby. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So we we'll start with the Evo first, sir. Yeah, yeah. Evo 10. Yeah. How do you think you're gonna get on today? You know, you're you're, you're racing a very similar powered uh, Scooby. Yeah, you know? it's gonna be an interesting one. I think it's it's gonna be close. Okay. Uh, Alan is a bit more confident than I am, so I, okay. I'm I'm hoping I can get close enough okay um if i if i get close enough to win i'll be very very happy but i'm, okay. not, I'm not expecting great things but you're not I'm, no i'm expecting good things but not great things all right cool well i want to speak to you because he's saying you're confident but i just want to let you know the last time there was a scooby evo race on my channel it didn't go well for the scooby That's so you're right. gonna have to try and revive the subaru legend here how do you reckon you're gonna get on i think it's down to the day to be honest I know John's a good driver. Okay. He's got a lot going under his car. Okay. It's been mapped by a good guy as well. Okay. I think he will just see how it goes, really. These two are too polite. Yeah. I need some trash yeah. talk. Who's going to really win? And how bad are uh, you going to do him? I, I think I'll have him. All right. That's what you want. <laughs> are you sure you're yeah. not going to do him? Uh, it depends. You just won't have any ankles left. It. That's part oh, of it. All right. All right. Well, there you go. Let's race. 
and as usual, we're going to be battling it out for the revered Sugarcoat Cup and a full set of its ultra effective, super sweet smelling ceramic waterless washes. And you can grab yours today, links in the description, OG20 for that good discount. Let's go! First up, it's the roll races, but before we get cracking, let's get a few sound checks. <laughs> And for the newcomers, the roll races go down like this. The car on the left is the pace setting car. They both agree a start speed and the car on the left sets it. It's then the guy on the right's job to make sure he stays by its side. The lads have agreed to a 40 roll. Alon's running the Scooby on low boost to be fair for the first runs. Let's go. Come on then, Johnny. Let's have you. So I feel like the Subaru couldn't keep pace that well. It looked like he was about half a car behind at the start. I might be wrong, but I want to say the Subaru might have won. Let's find out from the finish line. I'm saying Subaru. Finish line, who won that race? That was the Evo 10 of our car left. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's line them back up and go again. And the Evo takes the first win, beating the STI by around a car and a half's length. However, that start was slightly off that time. Let's line them back up and go again. Cool, so <laughs> it looked like the Scooby got on it a little bit early there, I'm not sure. But what I also will say is, so I don't know if I've already said this, like in the voiceovers or whatever, but that Scooby's running it on low boost to be fair at around 400 brakes, so they're both around 400 brakes. He looked a lot quicker that run. I feel like he might have turned it up, but I might be wrong. Anyway, I'm gonna say the Scooby won. Finish line, finish line, who won that? That was the Subaru by a strong two car lengths. Wrong two car lengths, he said. Let's line him back up for a designer. Didn't like that, did you, Johnny boy? <laughs> and that time, the Scooby flips the script and takes the win by around two and a half car lengths. And yes, Alum didn't like the taste of those gaparonis the first time, so he snuck it into medium boost for that run. Cheeky, cheeky. Let's line him back up for a decider. That actually looked really close. I, I don't know who won that. I saw a sneaky flame come out the uh, Subaru's exhaust. One thing I actually do know is on that last run, I was right. It did look a little bit quicker. 
I mean the run before this one, he's turned it up to medium boost now. So he's got a little bit more power, about 420 he tells me. Anyway, back to business. That looked like it was a very close race. Let's find out who won. Finish line, finish line. Who won that? So the Evo was waving to me as he passed the line, a gap ahead of the Subaru. Oh, how about that? Interesting. Gappuccino, gapple pie, gapperoni pizza, take your pick. And oh no, even with the Scooby up on medium boost, the Evo teaches him a car and a half's length lesson in Gapanese. Ouch. So today, neither car quite fast enough over the given distance to record a 100 to 200 kph time, leaving the 100 to 200 elite 15 leaderboard unchanged. And round one goes to the Evo fanboys. Next up, it's the drag races. And this is where these all wheel drive beasts should really come into their own. Grip is not an issue, but these lads driving skills could well be. Place your bets. Keep it medium boost. Yeah. If you get beat, send it. In fact, on the last one, you send it. Yeah. I got to, he's, yeah. got he's killing me now. Keep it on medium for now, yeah? Yeah. Ready, 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 set, go. Scooby got a nice launch there, nice launch. Looked like the Evo got off all right, but I don't, I, a lot happened basically, but yeah, definitely, definitely the Scooby took that one. Finish line, can I confirm in saying the Scooby won that? And if so, by how much? You would be correct, and a good three, four car length. Ooh, Scooby boys, they're taking it home. How's that taste? And in a first mad race down the strip, the Evo has trouble finding second and the STI gets a strong launch, walks away from the Mitsubishi and beats him to the line by around three car lengths. Boy, let's line it back up and go again. Ready, 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 set, go. guys witness what I just witnessed. Unfortunately, the Evo fluffed the start. What I will say is the Scooby does have launch control. The Evo is just using clutch control. So a little bit of an excuse, I guess. However, yeah, that looked, uh, well, it was the Scooby one. Uh, just to confirm, the Scooby won that, right? You would be correct, yes. I was gonna actually say that was all she wrote. But I think what we do is run a bonus round. I think because the Evo seems like he's struggling a little bit, we'll give him a few car lengths head start. We'll turn the Scooby to full boost and see how that pans out. How about that? How about that? Let's do it. Okay, so the Evo fluffs his start and the Scooby takes the win, technically winning best out of three. But just for science sake, let's see what happens when the Scooby runs his full boost 500 brake horsepower map and gives the Evo a free car length head start. Let's go! Ready, ready, set, go!
The Evo chose violence that time. What a time to wake up. I, I'm going to say the Evo. He sent it. He sent it. He got off there. He absolutely got off. That e uh, Sorry, the Scooby was moving though. It'd be interesting to see the gap. Uh, finish line, finish line. Who won that? And what was the gap? Don't tell me free car legs. So the Evo won that and the gap was about two to three car legs. <laughs> Why couldn't they just... Uh, oh man, never mind. That is handing the sauce. Oh dear, oh dear, I thought you turned your boost up. Okay, so that didn't go as planned. We gave the Evo free car lengths and he bloody wins by free car lengths. They both got strong starts too. So here's what we're going to do. Johnny reckons he can replicate that launch. So we're going to run them heads up once again, Evo at 400 horsepower, Scooby at 500 horsepower. Because technically, it should be very close, right? Let's give it a try. Ready? 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 Set? Go! <laughs> Just look at that. The Scooby was on full boost. He fluffed the start. The Evo sent it. And I'm damn sure the Evo won. Finish line, finish line. Who won that? The Evo again by a massive gap. Oh, man. Well, guys, to tell the truth, I make... Oh, he said, do you want that gaparoni pizza to go? All right, so they're going off, so I'll turn them off for a minute. But guys, make what you want out of those set of races because I have zero clue what just happened. Hopefully there was a winner. I think there was a winner. Who knows? Hope you enjoyed it. Let's go. Handed on a platter. Mint. 100 brake horsepower, don't mind. Say nothing. Say nothing. And the Scooby fluffs his start that time and gets absolutely rinsed by the lesser power Evo. And I'm officially more confused now than before. Easy, easy, easy. However, to relinquish any confusion of what one of the two cars are actually the fastest, we've got the VBOX PBT data to paint the full picture. So taking a look at the fastest quarter mile times achieved, the STI actually proves the faster of the two covering the quarter mile in 12.84 seconds at a speed of 109 miles per hour. The Evo runs just under half a second slower in a time of 13.26 seconds, however at a very similar trap speed of 100 and eight miles per hour. However, neither car quite fast enough to make it onto the manual all-wheel drive leaderboard. And then taking a look back at the best launches and fastest zero to 60 times achieved, once again, the Scooby proves superior, hitting 60 in just 4.09 seconds. The Evo runs a best zero to 60 time, just over a second slower of 5.12 seconds. However, neither car quite fast enough to chart with the zero to 60 top 15. And round two technically has to go to Elon and the Subaru fanboys. So today ends in a draw after a confusing yet fun end set of races with both cars taking one round each. The Subaru on paper the faster car, but you kind of hope so given the power difference. That said, the Evo holds it up and even beats the Scooby when running medium boost at around 420 to 450 brake horsepower, even with the Scooby on paper the lighter car. Interesting. Either way, good fun races from the two friendly rivals. A massive shout out to both lads for stepping up and laying rubber. So guys, as usual, let me know if you enjoyed today's races. And of course, which one of the two cars would you prefer on your driveway and why? And if you have enjoyed today's races, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss another battle by smashing that notifications bell. And we'll be back same place, same time with another crazy OG battle.
Peace out.